Mark McKay here for SpokenText.net. Today I'm going to show you how to use your podcast address that's automatically created for you when you create a Spoken Text account. So the benefit of using podcasting is that it's the easiest way to link your account with iTunes. So when you place your podcast address into iTunes, it'll automatically then sync all of your recordings from Spoken Text into iTunes. And you can quickly then have them transferred to your device. So once you can actually connect your iPod or your iPhone to your computer, it launches iTunes, and then it will sync those recordings that are currently in your iTunes onto your iPhone or your iPod. That way it saves you all the hassle of having to download the files and doing the transferring yourself. So first of all, Let's actually get it going. The easiest way to get your podcast address into iTunes is just to click the link. Then you're going to see this window show up that says launch the application. I'm going to launch iTunes. So I'm going to hit OK. iTunes will launch. And you'll see down here that this spoken text podcast has been added. Now if you're on the right hand side here, see you're under podcasts, right? So it's been added. It's automatically downloaded the first file. If I want to download other ones, I'll just double click them. This tells you they're downloading, and there you are. If at any time you don't see a recording in there, just right-click on the podcast address and scroll up to the top of this of the screen here, and you'll find Update Podcast, and that'll just pull down every single one. Occasionally, they may not show up, so that's the easiest way to do it. It's just a quirk inside of iTunes. Okay, if you want, you can play one just by clicking that. Just double click it, it'll show up. You can jump around it up here. And what's neat about using this is if you listen to a file in iTunes and then sync your um, you know, your iPod or your iPhone to your computer and uh, to iTunes, then when you're actually on the go, it'll move the pointer within the uh, recording to that spot that you finished when you were listening to it on your computer. So that can be really handy if you're listening to a longer format uh, file. Well, we are here, I'm just going to quickly show you um, books. So, this used to be called audiobooks in previous versions of iTunes, now they're just calling it books. And this is where you can put the audiobooks that you create inside of spoken text. That's how I did this one here. I uh, bought this book and recorded it. And then I saved it to my computer and I dragged and I dropped it into here. Uh, on my computer and in a future tutorial I will show you how to do that. By using audiobook formats it uh, gives you a few more playback options inside of your iPod or your iPhone. Uh, for example in an iPhone you can actually get, you get a little button that you can hit and just rewinds 30 seconds at a time which is kind of handy and inside and you can also speed up or slow down the, the recording um, and this also works inside of an iPod like an iPod Nano for example. If you hit the middle button you can speed or slow it up. So in a future tutorial I'll actually uh, get some of the devices and I'll show you how uh, that would work on your device and uh, show you how you can speed up and slow down your recording and navigate a recording uh, just using the features built into your iPhone or your iPod. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.